when you read the Bible, read looking for grace. Yeah. Because it gets presented in so many different, very beautiful ways. And if you are living with this thought that grace is a New Testament discussion, you miss so much of the beauty that is right there in front of the Old Testament. I, this is going to sound like I'm strange. Leviticus is one of my favorite books in the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah that's, that's strange. Because it just <laughs> reminds me of just a God who cares for me yeah. this much. Yeah. And it's not just the big, broad things in my life, but the details of, of commerce and sexuality and community and safety uh, what and animals yeah. animals are safe eating and what are not? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the things that highlights with students um, is in Genesis three when they when Adam and Eve mess up, God immediately provides for them by killing the animal to provide covering for their mm. for their shame. Mm. And and then we just pause and let it sit and go. Does that sound familiar to you at all? Mm. That there is there is God is acting to kill an animal in order to provide something for to cover their shame. God is involved. It's like, do you see it? Do you see it? And it's really fun to watch the light bulbs pop on and go, that that's that's the gospel right there in Genesis 3. Yeah. And by the way, it doesn't even start in Genesis 3. It goes back to Genesis 1. The gospel starts there. Yeah. So the and the gospel is a gospel of grace. Yeah, and I I think again, if you're if you're not reading with those eyes, yeah. you'll miss that moment where okay, they were naked and God, God clothed them. Yep. And you, you miss that the way Scripture is being written. There's another thing we should say is every bit of that is purposeful. God is purposely uh, retaining that moment because it's illustrative of the gospel. Mm-hmm. That's just not happening because we know the Bible doesn't contain everything that God knows. It couldn't possibly. Yeah. If it contained just a certain percentage, you would drive your Bible in 518 wheelers yeah. to church on Sunday. Yeah. Well, even the end of John is like, we, we didn't write yeah. all the stories Th- about right. Jesus. It would, the whole world wouldn't be able to contain them. So that means there's an intentionality to the things that are retained. Yes. And the core intentionality, I'm convinced of Scripture, is redemption, 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 redemption. You're cooked. You need redemption. And here's how it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And it's just everywhere in... In Scripture, 